today on CWN. Girls soccer won last night. And juniors are taking the SAT test today. I'm Luke. And I'm Kendall. And today is Wednesday, March 4th, 2020. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Pledge to the Texas Flag. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. All students wanting to take dual credit next year, packets must be turned into Ms. Kentu by Friday, so make sure to get those done. The Flint Hill Scholarship application will be available to all seniors interested in the counseling office. Deadline for the application is this Friday. And I hope you all are ready at the phones because it's time for your daily giveaway. Here's Chris with today's question. Thank you, Luke. Today's giveaway is brought to you by Southern Charm, your local home cooking restaurant. Today's question is, what is the loudest animal on earth? Be caller number one at 702 with the correct answer to win. Back to you, Kendall. Thank you, Carissa. Teachers, make sure to look at your email and see if any students need reminders for lunch D-Hall. Attention seniors, the Hispanic Women's Network of Texas are proud to announce that with the help of high school counselors last year, we were able to award Six hundred thousand dollars, sorry, thousand dollars scholarships <laughs> for the fall 2019, spring 2020 semesters awarded in May 2019. If you would like to see if you were qualified for the scholarship, applications are available in the counseling office. Deadline for applications is May 24th, 2020. The first round of the esports competition finished yesterday, and the video will be up on our YouTube channel sometime this week. The semis will be on Thursday, so make sure to go watch. And now Reed will have the rundown on sports right after this quick message. Here you go, Doc. Thank you. <coughs> oh my god, you got a nasty pair of lungs on you. You must be the industrial worker from that chemical spill. No, I'm the one from vaping. Thank you, Luke, and good morning, Wildcats. Today's sports is brought to you by Diamond Cut Graphics for all your design needs. Congrats to softball team as they threw a no-hitter and won 11-0. Great job, Wild Lady Wildcats. Also, the girls' soccer team had a shutout beating Alice last night 12-0. Great job. We also caught up with Emily. Let's check it out. Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Victor Cortez, and I'm here with Emily McClendon. She's a varsity soccer player. Emily, how did last night's game go? We did really good as a team. We won 12-0, and we just really worked well together, and we got a lot of girls' goals, and some girls that haven't scored before got to score. That's neat. Personally, how did you do? I did really good. I scored four goals, and it was a really good game. And how do you think your future games are going to go? Well, this Friday we play Martin at Martin, so it's going to be a tough game, but I know we can do it. And last time we beat them, and we can do it again. So if you see your lady cats, wish them good luck. You hear that? Wish your lady cats a good luck. That's all we have from you. Now back to the studio. That's the latest on Cal Sports. Back to you, Kendall. Thank you, Reed. Seniors, if you haven't already and you need to vote for Senior Superlatives and Senior Song on the library homepage, voting is this week only. Seniors, the Southwest Texas section of the Society of 
Petroleum Engineers is pleased to provide two $500 scholarship awards for students interested in pursuing a degree in petroleum engineering or other field of study related to the petroleum industry. Applications are available to seniors in the Remind group message and may also pick up a packet in the counseling office. Deadline is April 15th, so make sure to get those turned in. And now Nathan will have today's weather forecast for you right after this quick commercial break. Is if you're found in a situation where you're uh, an active shooter, for instance, a cafeteria, a gym, or a large open area, your point in case you might want to avoid. Run as far as possible, as fast as soon as you can. If the active shooter is close up on you, you might want to throw any objects as you can. And at one point, if the active shooter is too close, you might even want to rush him. These are points that you can take when the active shooter is in an open area, like a gym or a cafeteria. Thank you and good morning, Wildcats. Today's weather is brought to you by OG Designs and Events for all your designing needs. So right now we're looking at temperatures in the mid 80s with that 50% chance of rain and winds will be west at 30 miles per hour. So we do have some pretty strong winds. And throughout our day we have temperatures in the 70s and 80s, but we're down to the low 70s at 8 o'clock with that minimal chance of rain and winds will be north at 18 miles per hour. Here in our radar you see that we do have that belt of rain pushing across the lower part of Texas as well as those rains out in our Gulf. And so we will be seeing some rain showers as we head into our week and our day. <clears throat> so the end of our hanging into our weekend, we do see we do have those temperatures in the 70s and 50s at night, with those minimal chances of rain, but up to 10% on Saturday, and those winds will go to the north and east at 20 miles per hour. And uh, so we do have some pretty good weather as we head into our weekend. Well, thank you, Luke. Oh, not <laughs> Luke. Uh, thank you, Nathan. You're welcome, Kendall. <laughs> the answer to today's giveaway was the sperm whale, and the winner was Coach Odin. Congratulations. And that's all of your announcements for today, but now it's time for your joke of the day. So guys, what do you call a pony with a cough? I don't know, Kendall, what? A little horse. <laughs> <laughs> and just to make sure, if y'all have D Hall, D Hall, lunch D Hall will be in room 410. And for all you social people out there, make sure you're following us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Cal TV for all the latest updates. Also subscribe to us here on YouTube to catch all of our latest videos. And as always, stay, stay classy, classy Cal Allen. Allen.